I'm making bread tomorrow and with bread I need a starter it's going to be so beneficial for my gut way easier to digest and it tastes way 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 more delicious so we're going to get into that straight away today we're going to be making um, I say today tomorrow we're making some marquetas it's a Chilean bread uh, with bread I need a starter so I'm gonna make a poolish because that's the easiest one it's a one-to-one -one ratio of water and flour a little bit of yeast a little bit of sugar and that's it leave on the bench and then the next day when we wake up it's gonna be ready to use I got 400 grams of warm water we're going 14 grams of yeast 20 grams of sugar and 400 grams of flour okay combine mix 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 after a minute of mixing just have a look at that consistency should be gloopy that's perfect lid goes on and just leave that on the bench look real quick before i go look i might be like real tired and grumpy now but the thing is 10 times out of 10 i'd rather put myself through this process and make a starter then not even make a starter at all seriously 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 if you m make bread or you like bread you like eating bread you like cooking bro once you start fermenting just certain things and you find out how to make fermentation work with you bro you're gonna be an absolute unit all right i'm gonna go to sleep goodbye let me not be alone with this one make a polish do this recipe make some bread you'll thank me for it and experience this satisfaction with me <laughs> oh, it's so fizzy and addicting you know when you used to be like a kid and you just whip open that like 1.5 liter home brand bottle of fizzy drink and you just go Ooh, 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 and you like thrash it when you're like this the airs and the fizz will just be you can feel the fizz like going all the way through your sinus bro there's such a similar feeling i think it's nostalgia so the bread we're making today is a marqueta it's a traditional chilean bread similar if you live in new zealand or i think australia might have the same word for it but similar real similar to a buffet roll and you already know if you've had buffet rolls it's delicious buffet rolls mini little fridge style baguettes and a marqueta is essentially that but better because instead of coming like individually individually they stack them together and it's a rip share whole fiesta sharing of bread and fun community it's great it's great so i'm gonna show you how to make it today this is a 400 gram polish so i'll list the full recipe here and then the polish here and then whatever we have left over we're adding in today i really hope that makes sense but we're only we're going for a lower hydration dough we're working at 60 percent and now we're just mixing until it dissolves and if you don't want to do a polish then you can just straight get 600 grams of water bloom your yeast wait 10 minutes but this is what we're looking like after a minute you can see majority of it's dissolved it is still it's not really lumpy bits it's just texture within the the dissolved polish but that's okay don't need to worry about that too much Chuck that on the scale and we're adding the rest of the flour in. Flour was in. Chuck that one back. The majority of the percentages of the weight is based around the flour. So if you work with like a thousand grams of flour, that makes everything else easy as. But I mean, you're going to have a lot of bread. I think that's good though. You can give a lot to your neighbors in that. If flour is a thousand, water 600 that's 60 percent hydration of the dough uh yeast can be anywhere between i'm not too fussy with yeast because i make starter with it it can be anywhere between like i think it's like 0.4 to like two percent and then salt as well like 1.5 to like 2.2 percent but again like you need to make your own adjustments create your own math as to your taste too don't just go off what everyone else say it's to your taste too so just just give a little shake get that flour and salt incorporated 
I like turning the mixer on before I add anything. Polish gets a nice little stir. And there's no rush, we just need to slowly incorporate this in. You can do it in twos, threes. So I'm gonna go work on the right. I've got probably like two thirds left. If you're doing this process by hand, you can probably just chuck it all in because you're just using your hands. If you're using a mixture, a little bit of patience goes a real long way. Now it's slightly formed, I'm gonna go in again. Do another third. Now for the last little bit. You can see it's wet, it's groggy. But that's the beauty of the stand mixer, you just literally leave it alone, let it do its thing, come back in like 15 minutes. Now once we have the dough, we're gonna cover it. You can use glad wrap for this. I'll just use a damp tea towel and a plate. So we're just gonna let that do its thing for an hour. It's cold as hell today. Real grey too. But it's alright. I'll show you what we're looking like. It's an hour. When you're working with those and breads in general, the more it feels like a tit, the more successful it's gonna be. Just always keep that in mind. What I'm gonna do now is we're gonna punch some of that air out and then dump down the bench. I got my big dough here, I've got a scale. I'm gonna be splitting this up into 12. Scale just for easy measurements if you don't have one. Then just split it up into 12, use your eyes or something. I'm going for 133 grams each. Since we're working with a lower hydration dough at 60%, I'll consider that quite low. It's gonna be super easy to work with, you can see, barely sticking on my hands. And so we can really power through this process of just weighing it out get two balls join them by the sides give them a little flat i'm going with like this part of my hands on both of them and i'm kind of i'm doing like this motion and bringing them in together and join them together so almost going to be like a rugby ball shape an oval shape and then once they joined relatively the same width and height I've just got a tray with uh, baking paper on it. Go on my dough scraper, flip, and then on. The only thing with this is it's pretty unforgiving because once it's on, it's on. Like you won't be able to get that off. So if there's any shapes or anything like that, you have to sort that out before it goes on. You can see this one's like a little bit misshapen, but bro, my first one, my first one, cut me some slack. So we got two balls, line them up. Once they're relatively the same shape, you can pick that guy up. You can see that's the bottom. It's giving a little nice space, just so there's less room for them to touch. So I can fit three on this tray, another one here. So once they're even, pick them up, place them evenly. Once all our marketers are shaped out, we'll go in with a little bit of oil, coat the top. Just whatever you have. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. It can be whatever oil that you have, cooking oil. I'm using just a little bit of olive oil because it's out already. We need to create an indent line for that rip and shear feature. So you're just gonna find the middle, press it all the way down to the sheet. Hold it there, one, two, three, and lift it up. And that's it, we really need to go all the way down deep. It creates four different rolls, one, two, three, and four. And guys, when you when you come to this step, there's no point like being scared about it or anything. You just just need to find the middle and push that shit down. Just trust yourself. We got three on this side, three on that side, and each mariketa will have four little mini rolls. So you do the math: four times six, twenty-four little buns that you'll be addicted to in no time. Cover with a little bit of plastic wrap, and I'm chucking a tea towel on both of them. Now we're gonna let it rest 30 minutes. 30 minutes is up. Let's have a look how we're looking. Before it goes in the oven, I'm just making all of the dents a little bit more prominent. Prominent, fluffy, delicious, oiled up. These are going in the oven 200 Celsius for 12 minutes. There we go. And we'll, 
with marketers we need some steam too so i've just got a pan while my oven was preheating i just chucked that in and then just chuck that guy on the bottom these are jumbo size marketers so that's been in the oven for i'll say 15 20 minutes i kind of just lost count let's have a little closer look yes beautiful 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 i love this color on my marketers golden brown it's gonna be crispy fluffy on the inside ooh, ooh. it's fresh hot out of the oven so i'm gonna give it i'll say like five minutes just to cool down slightly because it's boiling my fingers are dying you can see here's my marqueta the line's not as prominent as i like it and that's just because i'm using a chopstick but i swear to god this bread's gonna make me go to the hardware store to pick up a dowel but anyway has anyone listened to their new young thug album because that's pretty hard that goes hard you can see there's one, two, three, and four little buns. Rip. Bro, you want a marqueta? Yeah, I got you. There you go. One for me. Super yeasty. The starter makes it more flavorful dough. It's going to go down easier. Less stress on my digestive system. I'll just cut it up. Come on, look at that. Spongy, fluffy, crispy. Like I said before, if you live in New Zealand and Australia, these are more commonly known as buffet rolls are different to marikitas. Just like everyone has their different bread, it's just similar to a buffet roll. And I like splitting it between bottom and top. And we're just gonna go for it. Cheers, guys. Man, holy shit. Fresh bread and butter, it's an unbeatable combination every single time. I really love how these real nice large pockets of air because it's so fluffy. Well, it's not so fluffy, but it's fluffy enough. And the butter just amplifies it. The starter we made, it's like a mature bread that's super easy to make. That's super fun to share around. Hey guys, you can top this with butter, any jam you want, Vegemite, and it's such a, like, a heartwarming bread, you feel me? Soft, squishy. It's so fun, it's like a game. If you want to do the starter, shout out to you. But anyway, I'm going to thrash all of my marketers. going to have a con pauta, con pollo. If you like the content, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. More videos are going to come out. Tell all your friends about me, your family. And I'll see all of you guys on the next one.